The Marvelettes members who have sadly died. The Marvelettes were an American girl group formed in Inkster, Michigan, in 1960. They were the first successful Motown girl group, paving the way for groups like the Supremes, Martha, and the Vandellas, and the Velvelettes. The Marvelettes released several hit singles throughout the 1960s, including Please Mr. Postman, Don't Mess With Bill, and The Hunter Gets Captured by the Game. Sadly, the group has experienced several losses over the years as some of its members have passed away. In this video, we will discuss the lives and contributions of the deceased Marvelettes. Gladys Horton was born on May 30, 1944, in Gainesville, Florida. She joined the Marvelettes in 1960 and quickly became the group's lead singer. Horton was known for her powerful voice and soulful delivery, and she was the lead vocalist on many of the Marvelettes' biggest hits, including Please Mr. Postman and Too Many Fish in the Sea. Despite her success, Horton struggled with personal and professional issues, including alcoholism and disagreements with the group's management. Horton left the Marvelettes in 1967 and embarked on a solo career, but her success was limited. She struggled with addiction and financial problems for much of her life and eventually ended up living in poverty. Horton passed away on January 26, 2011, at the age of 66, from complications related to a stroke. Despite her troubled life, she left behind a legacy as one of the greatest soul singers of all time, and her contributions to the Marvelettes' success cannot be overstated. Wanda Young was born on August 23, 1943, in Detroit, Michigan. She joined the Marvelettes in 1961 and quickly became one of the group's most beloved members. Young was known for her warm, soulful voice and her ability to connect with audiences on a deep emotional level. She was the lead vocalist on many of the Marvelettes' biggest hits, including My Baby Must Be a Magician and The Hunter Gets Captured by the Game. Despite her success, Young struggled with health issues throughout her career. She suffered from asthma and other respiratory problems, which often made it difficult for her to perform. In addition, she suffered from depression and anxiety, which made it hard for her to cope with the pressures of the music industry. After leaving the Marvelettes, Young continued to work in music, releasing several solo albums and collaborating with other artists. However, she faced her own share of challenges over the years, including health problems and financial struggles. In 2020, she passed away at the age of 78, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most talented and influential singers of her generation. Georgiana Tillman was born on February 6, 1944, in Inkster, Michigan. She was a founding member of the Marvelettes and sang lead vocals on many of their early hits, including Please Mr. Postman and Don't Mess With Bill. Tillman was known for her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence, and she was a key part of the group's success. Unfortunately, she suffered from sickle cell anemia, a genetic disorder that causes red blood cells to become misshapen and break down, leading to anemia, pain, and other health problems. Tillman's health issues forced her to take a step back from performing in the mid-1960s, and she eventually left the group in 1965. She continued to work as a songwriter and session singer for Motown, but her health continued to deteriorate. Tillman passed away on January 6, 1980, at the age of 35, from complications related to sickle cell anemia, lupus, and chronic autoimmune disease that affects the body's immune system. Her death was a huge loss for the music world, as she was one of the most talented and charismatic performers of her generation. Katherine Anderson was one of the founding members of the legendary Motown group, The Marvelettes. Born on April 12, 1944, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Anderson grew up in a musical family and started singing at an early age. She joined the Marvelettes in 1960 at the age of 16, along with Gladys Horton, Georgia Dobbins, and Wanda Young. The Marvelettes are known for their hits such as Please Mr. Postman, Beachwood 4 to 5789, and Don't Mess with Bill. Anderson's powerful voice and stage presence were a significant part of the Marvelettes' success. She sang lead on some of the group's most iconic songs, including The Hunter Gets Captured by the Game and My Baby Must Be a Magician. Anderson was also a skilled songwriter, and she co-wrote several of the group's songs. The Marvelettes were trailblazers in the music industry, becoming one of the first all-female groups to achieve significant success. Anderson and her bandmates paved the way for future generations of female musicians, and their music continues to be celebrated today. Anderson left the Marvelettes in 1970 to pursue a solo career, but she remained an influential figure in the music industry. Georgia Dobbins was an American singer-songwriter and one of the founding members of the Motown girl group The Marvelettes. She was born in 1944 in Alabama and raised in Inkster, Michigan. 
Dobbins was only 15 years old when she wrote the group's first hit song, Please Mr. Postman, in 1961. Dobbins had a passion for music from a young age and sang in her church choir. Her love for music continued to grow, and she eventually formed a group with her friends, Gladys Horton, Wanda Young, Juanita Coward, and Katherine Anderson. They called themselves the Cassinettes and later changed their name to the Marvels and eventually the Marvelettes. In 1961, Dobbins wrote Please Mr. Postman, which became the Marvelettes' first number one hit. The song was a huge success, selling over a million copies and paving the way for other girl groups in the music industry. However, despite her talent and contributions to the group's success, Dobbins left the Marvelettes in 1962 due to personal reasons. After leaving the group, Dobbins continued to write songs and perform but never achieved the same level of success as she did with the Marvelettes. Sadly, she passed away in 1985 at the young age of 78, but her contributions to music and her impact on the Motown sound will always be remembered. Juanita Coward, also known as Nita, was a member of the iconic Motown group The Marvelettes. She was born on May 6, 1946, in Inkster, Michigan, and joined the group in 1962 as a replacement for founding member Georgia Dobbins. Coward's voice added a new dynamic to the group, and she quickly became a fan favorite. Coward's contributions to the Marvelettes included backing vocals, dancing, and percussion. She also co-wrote some of the group's songs, including Strange I Know and That's How Heartaches Are Made. Coward's talent helped to elevate the Marvelettes' sound and style, and she played an important role in the group's success. Unfortunately, Coward's time with the Marvelettes was cut short when she left the group in 1963 to pursue a solo career. She released a few singles, but none of them gained much commercial success. She will always be remembered as an important member of the Marvelettes and an influential figure in the music industry.